queen. For your red no, don't deal on so far. Me red no, don't deal on. Oh, I.
sort of the fiber family when you started singing? What age were you? I have kind of been singing all my life. Like the, the, the first time I remember, like, you know when like, the attention is on you because I was about five, my uncle was got, had a sound system. Okay, what sound system was it? British Children, okay. South East London. He had a sound system and my aunt, I have a cellar. Yeah. <laughs> so all the parties was there. Okay. And um, and I just one time I remember just going on the mic. That's when I first remember noticing that people's like, oh, you know, um, just picking up the mic and singing along, and people like, yeah, you know, because you know it's Jamaican, you can sing, yeah, you know, shimmy dimmy dimmy, I love you. Um, Rock steady, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's about five, and um, so he wasn't shy then. Not then. Yeah, I wasn't shy then. I was in the, the choir in the church um, at school. I, I began to get a bit more shy at secondary school, <laughs> but um, I still did like the school plays, sang in the school plays and stuff like that. Um, I've always been singing. Um, sound system time. That's where I really, between sound system and like piano bars and stuff like that, that's where I really done my schooling. Okay. It was, everybody did their schooling at sound system and there was no, um, what is it, um, brick school yeah. <laughs> and stuff like that that you could really follow. Yeah. Really yeah. Choose, yeah. So, so how did you get from the sound system into the music industry? Well, it was, well, you know, there's two things. The sound system, through the sound system is how I got into the English game. But my first release in terms of reggae was with a, um, a friend. Yeah. Um, we thought we'd, uh, at the time, UB40 came out. Yeah. And you know, we thought, well, you know, why are people singing reggae? And my friend was from Malta. So he said, right, we're going to form this band. Me, him, and another friend, you know, we're going to approach people with our stuff. And we did. Um, and we went to Legato. Um, we went to Ito Records, and um, Leonard Chin was the, the writer. And he, when he listened to us, he said, yeah, I'm going to name you Legato. I can't even remember the name we went with. Yeah. And we went with the original song as well. They said, like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, they liked him. Yeah. They just tolerated me and the other girl. <laughs> and the backing vocals, you know, but we went there as a group, but anyway, they took us in. We were two really good beats with that, with that group. Okay. Um, lately, yeah. and uh, Fool for Your Love. A lot of people don't know about that. Because they only know me for a root song. Um, but that's, that was my first um, on the radio scene. Okay. Could you tell the fire in front of what the name of your first LP was? My first own album. <laughs> my personal album. I'm on lots of different albums, but my album is pretty popular. Okay. Yeah, that was um, around 96. How did your family and friends feel about your career choice? Um, do you know, they've always been supportive, my family. Um, although my mum, you know, our parents all want us to be something professional. So I went on and done professional stuff alongside um, singing. the singing. Because the singing, unless you were of a certain age and style, we weren't going to really get um, a naivety at that time. <laughs> so to say, you weren't really going to get to, to those places. Um, but um, yeah, did the singing along. I, I, so I did um, yeah, qualify, did the all the stuff you have to do. I did qualify, social worker, teacher, broadcast. You know what I mean? But singing and music is my love. Who or what inspired you to write? Um, that's a question. I kind of was inspired by things that are happening. Um, 
and, and people before me like um, Bob Andy, Max Romeo, Judy Mowat, they wrote songs that, they wrote everything, they wrote love songs and they wrote things that, about the world, everything that's going on and I kind of, um, and, and I, I was growing up at a time when reggae was just starting yeah. and I heard them talk about everything, um, you know, the, the, I couldn't wait to hear a tune I hear on the radio done in reggae. Yeah. By the same time, there was a movement when they started to create original music, and you hear about West Milan and all the history and everything that I learned so much about from the world <laughs> yeah. to the music. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. Would you tell Fire and Family why music is important to you? That's one of the reasons, okay. because it's part, it's, it's the one thing that um, connects people. It's, it's so powerful for me. They connect you to a place, a time, a smell. You hear a song and you go right to where you want to hear that song. Yeah. It's so powerful. Yeah. And um, as I said, it was, it's education, it's entertainment, you know, it's, it's direction in some ways, you know, you can pick up things that you can pick up. You never yeah. really looked at it like that before. Um, yeah, it's, it's music is very deep. Do you believe in the most high, and if so, how does it affect your work? The most high. I am sitting here by virtue of the most high. And the most high, it's, 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 it's only when I don't listen. It's only when I think I know a bit better. I hear, I get a, a voice and I think, yeah, but. Yeah. When I say, yeah, but, that's the problem. Yeah. But if I follow where I'm going, because I don't really give in to darkness, I don't really think about give in to negativity. So when I get a, a message or a voice, I think I know where it's coming from. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, human thinking, where am I to go? Yeah. Oh, I'll just go that way instead. I, mean, I always will know that this is your guide. You know, um, last year I, English girl in itself, that song, um, if that is an example of how the most high work in the wrong time. I wrote that song almost 40 years ago, and then two years ago that song, people who never knew the song before to I read me in that time. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it was still was amazing. Yeah. And you know, I, I shout it from the roof. So the most high, <laughs> you know, the most high is in control of things because I had no idea when I wrote it that I would be revived with all the years later. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Could you tell the Fire family where your music is taking you? Oh, that's a long list. <laughs> It's a long list. Um, and what was the most memorable place as well? There are a few memorable places. Uh, we've done tours of America, like 22 states in America, Japan, states in Japan, all over Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Russia, Mexico, Yugoslavia and all those places before it became separate. We went to East Germany before the war came down. So many places and, and see so much history. But, uh, there's two places that really has got my heart. And one of them is the Gambia. And the Gambia, um, I've never experienced. Travel all over. You travel all over and you experience the same racism. Black or white, mm -hmm. yeah. same, same thing. Yeah. You go to Gambia and people, the, the children in Gambia were taught that people come and took their ancestors away. Mm -hmm. So when people come there, you welcome them. Because oh, no. they could be your brother or sister. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, after when you travel everywhere and you get all, you get all the, the, the stuff that comes out of it. Um, colonialization. Yeah. When you get all that all the time, then you see one place that is, you know, and then when you look, you actually see people who really look like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really look like you, you know. Yeah. 
that really touched me. Uh, in Gambia, I sang in a different spirit than I was. <laughs> so I didn't even remember my words. <laughs> I just sang in a different place. And, um, and the other place was, I went to Israel. I've been to Israel a few times, but the last time I went, last year, I sang in the Tower of David. Um, on top of Mount Zion. Just to say, just to say, you know, mm. and then standing on this ground that you read about, you read about in the Bible, no matter how many times it's been translated or by you know, standing, you actually feel the connection where you belong. Because I always say about the Bible, you know, that the most time, whatever, however it's been changed around, you know, it's talking about us. Mm. It's, it's talking about us. Mm. <laughs> the guidance is there for us. You don't need You can take out the bits. You know which bits have been put there to make us think that God is white. Mm. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? You, you can part, bypass that. And when I was in that place, I I kind of felt that bypass. Mm. Like, you know, there's, there's that connection between us and God. Special people, yeah. Look greater than everybody else, but we're special people. Our yeah. yeah. are real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please tell us about your collaborations. Um, oh, I had, I've got two, two collaborations that I'm really proud of. Um, one's with Maccabee. Do you know Maccabee there? Mm. Yeah. And um, you've done a song called Peace Cup. I can't do it. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. The woman I'm with me drink out and they say, I'm peace. Stop messing with me. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Yeah, it's fantastic. And I sang, of course, Africa is Zion. And it was adapted from Africa is Zion. Okay. So, yeah, that was really good. And 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 that was really good. Took me on a whole set of tours with my with uh, Maccabee okay. and his band. And the other one, my greatest, uh, you know, no disrespect to Maccabee, but for me, it's my, if I never sang again after I've done this, I would make it. <laughs> <laughs> I um, with the new Roy, the oh. in Africa, because yeah. I was in the club with my big sister, who used to sneak out. She had to take me, otherwise she'd get caught. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'd be in the club with her and I'm listening to you, Roy. Yeah. Version galore and all this, and I loved it. Yeah. So for him to choose a song that I've sang on, and he was, he'd been kind of off the scene for a while. Mm -hmm. And this was for his comeback album. So, you know, as I said, if I never sang another song, <laughs> I, you know, that of me, yes. yes. <laughs> You have quite a few of those experiences in the business. Yeah. Would you mind sharing the current struggles you feel a recording artist might face? Depends on what kind of recording artist you are. If you like independent and want to sing about, because of the really is narrowed now to what you can even sing about. Okay. Oh, sorry. If you if you already made a stand in singing roots and band, you're up there famous and that, I think you'll be alright. But reggae is becoming more like just entertainment. I mean, the, the, the culture and the, that bit is um, it's narrowing. Okay. Like in Europe now, you always use the headline. Always, you know. But in Europe now, every country now has their own reggae band. Okay. Good reggae band. Yeah. Um, so it's narrowing in terms of where you can get in. Mm -hmm. The novelty you know, is, is, is narrowing. Um, I think it's just it's just that this is support amongst your own people. Yeah. To, 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 you know, to um to not be so much a kind of thing. And just, you know, one person goes somewhere and when it's support is by seventy nine pence. You know what I mean, and, and things like that. And um, the struggles people face, it's about finance, really, because you've got to have the money to pay the DJs. I mean, DJs get paid by big people, big money, so they 
this type of reggae. Yeah. So if you're if you've got that type of reggae, you're fine. Yeah. You're fine. But if you're anything outside of it, um, you, you might find struggles with you know getting in the play, getting on shows. What struggles have you faced as an artist in the music industry? Um, well, when we started out, it was very different, and, and so we faced different struggles for people like this today. For us, it was similar things. The system hasn't changed. Certain people run the business, and then they farm out to smaller and smaller companies. Reggae companies, those reggae companies only play a certain type of music. But we'll, so when we started, because Arriva was an independent label, mm -hmm. so like the reggae stations, which I think was two, um, <laughs> and Steve Barnard and, mm. and um, David Rudding and Arthur, okay. but they, and not David. Oh. Williams? No, and next one, he's passed away now. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I know I love him. Tony Williams. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah Tony yeah. Williams. They wouldn't play our music. Yeah. They wouldn't play our music because it was an independent label and their orders come from the people who are paying them. Yeah. To pay, to, to only play this kind of music. Yeah. Um, I think that still exists, but the internet is really so broad now that it's yeah. But yeah, that kind of struggle. Then there was the um, the expectation that women only sang lovers, yeah. and only just you know, and all this kind of thing. Um, that was a bit of a struggle, but it's much more for other people because the Rewa, that was one of the things that um, that was one of the things that made us different yeah. because there were a load of. Of, of, of female artists yeah. who sang different things, yeah. you know, a complete range yeah. of um, lovers, soul, soul kind of music, and real roots, DJs who are really saying really powerful stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I think um, it seems like it's going to back to a little bit like everybody else doing the same thing. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, I think that might be a struggle for someone who wants to work outside of that. Yeah. Restrictions. Yeah. yeah. You're going to meet up on, you know, we're just going to meet that. Yeah. <laughs> we want you to be a certain way. If we're going to produce you, if we're going to take you on an invest, mm -hmm. we want you to sing these type of songs. Yeah. Or sing songs in this way. Yeah. yeah. If you could give advice to an aspiring artist, what would it be? About this. It's, it's basically to study the business because it's now a business. It's, when we started, we, we just sang. Yeah. Um, professor and some other people did all the you know, this bit, this bit. But now it's a business. Yeah. So you have to learn the business that you want to go into. If you're going into soul, learn about that, that area. And then get a, um, a good team around you. Yeah. Oh, you can't do it on your own. Um, somebody, you have someone looking after your press, getting you on the radio stations, and you know, just giving you basically good advice, guidance, supporting you, um, stuff like that. Make sure that you just have the material. Yeah. You know, yeah. years and years of material if needs to be, but yeah. um, just have the material so you can go anywhere and do anything. Mm. Unless you want to be like specifically a root singer, to just have a, a little performance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just show what you can do yeah. um, to the best of your ability. And remember that you're a brand. So what you do, what you do is, is a brand. Yeah. When you go you learn about discipline, behavior, traveling, We've been traveling this long because there's a discipline to traveling. Oh, yeah. You know, where we um, you can't behave like rock stars because rock stars get paid lots of money. <laughs> yeah, they do. The people, <laughs> when they trash the hotel, the people don't care because yeah. you know they're getting paid lots of money. So you know, it's a certain behavior, discipline, oh. time keeping, all small things that some people. Ducks didn't associate with reggae before. They think everyone just goes there, smokes meat, makes music, and 
things it's, it's just it's not like that it's, it's a business that's that's the sort of things i'd say so just coming up what artists do you listen to i don't have a a artist i just listen to i listen to and i listen to all different kinds of music you know all my spotify i've got Ferris, Marcia, Sia, Eddie Kendrick, just, just, I listen to lots of stuff and if there's good, if I hear good music, pop music on the radio, you know, I will, I will say to myself, who is that? You know, let, let me have that. Beyonce do a couple of songs that I just, I can't stop playing when I hear them, you know. Um, uh, do you sing in different genres? I used to, and I still would. It's just that the, the opportunities have always been there. Yeah. Have you been surprised by the response by the UK music supporters? And the response to? To you and your songs by the UK music supporters. Surprised. Not surprised by... Uh, this time around, I've been pleasantly surprised because uh, it's another generation, so they've accepted it in its entirety. entirety. And I've been surprised by um, people who knew it from a long time ago, yeah. uh, you know, still remember it. Not surprised that they supported it, but um, pleasantly happy that, you know, they saw yeah. it coming. Um, the only thing about that English girl, so a lot of people here think that's the only song I ever sang. <laughs> <laughs> because the, because of the same thing when it came to pushing other stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. But out of in out of um, UK, even out of just England, because when you go to Ireland and different places, they have they have a different concept. Yeah. Um, where they're less exposed to all the different reggae's, yeah. you get you know um, I get a different response. To different so this songs. is the title track, what, Populate. You need to play for some. Yes. So let's go. Slow down, 
Enough life music. And the um, that can be found there. Uh, Delicious.com. Mm. Yeah, you'll find all about uh, enough life music. I'm setting up an Instagram page and getting with it. Okay. So you're a co producer on that, aren't you? I'm co producer, yeah. Uh, that's just that's the title because I help produce some of the songs like say this here, put this here, but really most of it is down to Delichi and just it's your husband, isn't it? Yeah, he just has that here and eye. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He does more the donkey work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you share with the five room family what plans you have currently in the pipeline? So, yeah, as I just said, we've set up our own record label, um, production company. And we're working with not just myself, Dimitri is a saxophonist. So he, oh, I've got an album. I've got his, he had an album out maybe a few years ago. Yeah. Um, but we were a bit green then about product, about, um, you know, the same thing that I'm saying, you need a team, you need a, to keep the team constant. Um, so we produced that album together. And um, I'm working on an EP. Um, I'm going to release a single in. Really. Quite soon, mm, they got like. Um, we work with other artists as well. I think, uh, remember, you interviewed Cindy Prince yeah. like, recently, and he's one of the artists who got okay. some nice stuff. Mm -hmm. Nice guy. Oh, it's lovely. He is. He is. He's a lovely guy. We're like a fly in a spider's web, caught in a trap inside our head. In this world of illusion and psychology Where do we learn what we believe In every black man a tease Did Europeans build pyramids? We fight each other with guns for liberty 
Thank you. So we have the website, um, www.bellychis.com. Um, on Instagram, at Sister Audrey 2018. I'm going to, we're going to set up our Instagram for Delicious as well. So be able to contact us, Delicious, Facebook, Instagram. We've got email address. Uh, Sister Audrey at hotmail.co.uk mm -hmm. <laughs> I got both of them actually okay. because I made a mistake and set up something with .com Okay Oh no, that's not it So then I went and, and so I've got both So okay. if you send it to me, I'll get it .com or to I use .co.uk feel, Please feel free to make a shout out to your well wishes well, I thank all of you who have supported me over all these years. All of you who really didn't know me and just come on board and really embraced me. It really means a lot at this time. So big shout out to you. Continue, keep up the good work. Keep supporting me and supporting Megan Music. Mm. Uh, it has been an amazing honor. <laughs>
Fire, 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 fire,